Hey everybody, Jamie here from the Enigmatic Nomadics YouTube channel. I want to talk about a couple of things before I get into the meat of the content of this particular upload. I just want to state the obvious up front. If uh, a lot of you guys watch the channel on a regular basis, you see that I do vlog updates of what's going on right now and then you'll see an interview that maybe Carly did or Jax did or Seven or just somebody else that's uh, been out there interviewing Tamara, Sev. I put these are videos that were taped during the, uh, the van build and I put them out so the, they can be seen. They're good high quality videos and I set them on a timer just to come out uh, randomly. So that's why that's happening. And I just want to make an explanation of, you know, if it seems a little like uh, willy nilly, that's what's going on with that. Second of all, I want to thank all the patrons that I have. You guys that come over and join my patron, I can't tell you how important that is. I had uh, just under a couple of hundred bucks come in this month just from the patron page. And, you know, it's not a whole ton of money, but boy, it sure is going to go a long way to getting these repairs done and cover the cost of fuel to get back up into the States. And it helps me with equipment. I'm constantly looking for ways to improve my, my video situation, my camera situation. My camera is a Sony and it doesn't want to talk to a Mac laptop. So if you guys are out there considering what kind of equipment to get, I can tell you that the Sony, Savannah, hush. There's some fishermen coming up. I'll show you where we are. The Sony, uh, camera works great the Macintosh I bought it because it renders video really fast in Final Cut Pro but the two don't like to talk to each other the files are different I can't go in and change the files to mp4 in Sony settings and basically that's what uh, Mac wants to see they may want to see a couple of other things but certainly not what Sony puts it out in so the patrons really help me with things like that uh, you guys that come chime in on what you would do in my situation with the engine that's going on I really appreciate that and so I just want to let you know you know I don't always get to all the comments but you guys that do comment I really appreciate it let me take these glasses off these glasses don't work uh, I bought some uh, glasses through Zenny optical and they fell apart right before we left to go down to Mexico and they're those progressives so I can see close and I can see far away and these are just readers that I bought like a four pack of at Walmart so that's what's going on with that. And I wear sunglasses sometimes in my videos. Those are prescription ones I got from Zenny. I gotta get more, I gotta get another pair when we get back to the States that has a more sturdy frame. Anyway, I just wanna thank all you guys for your comments and you know trying to help me out with uh, the solutions that you would see fit in the situation with the breakdown of the engine. And want to thank my patrons and want to thank my subscribers. I really appreciate all you guys. And I just want to let you want to let you know that Savannah, Savannah, Savannah's been coughing, and I took her bark collar off, and she's very vocal without it. So hey, how's it going? I think these guys might be wanting to come up and uh, talk to me. So we'll see what's going on. We'll just keep the camera on. Hola. Savannah, she doesn't bite. Savannah, stop it. You got an octopus in there? What kind of fish is that? Is that got a trigger fish, trigger mojara, fish. pargo? This is a sea cucumber. And what is this? Sea cucumber. A sea cucumber. Right on. Another trigger fish. Oh, you got a bunch of them. What are you using for bait? Uh, the, the stomach for scallop. No, the trip for the scallops. Okay, right on. Let me see if she wants any uh, scallops right now. Okay. Uh, Maybe another day? Uh, we need butter. Yeah, okay, we'll uh, get butter. Yeah, we'll turn this off. So back to the 
meat of the video. We have some guys that come down and fish here every day. That was them. I'll show you where we are and I'll show you the engine and basically this is what we got going. I might as well just explain it while I got the camera set up on the tripod. It's just a pulley next to the water pump and it looks like on the serpentine belt diagram that it's a water pump or a power steering pump. That's what it says on that for that pulley, but it's just a bolt that goes through with the Torx. It's a Torx bolt with uh, the bearings and the pulley. That's basically what we're doing. I mean, I can show you where it is and stuff and I will, but so what do you do? How do you get it? How do you get these parts? There's, there's two challenges with this. One of them is, to me, two challenges. One of them is it's an international commercial motor. So the parts aren't gonna be readily available necessarily at a parts store. The other challenge is the English to Spanish uh, translation barrier. I've got a app on my phone that translates, but I don't think it works that well. And I don't think it's necessarily the app's fault that it doesn't work that well. It's just that words mean so many different things that it's easy to misconstrue. I've used it well, probably about six or seven times here. And I know that sometimes people understand and some people are like, what the heck is he trying to say? So I just take the parts in physically. I took the belt in and I took the pulley in and the bolt that goes through it and all the damaged stuff. They wanted to put a, a race in the pulley. That was their solution, which I think is pretty uh, thinking outside the box, but I want the right part crossing all this stuff. I want the right part. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you where we are. It's a beautiful place. The temperature's around 80, 85 degrees. We're getting the breeze off of the water. So we got that going for us and we're off the road. So it's so much cooler here. Uh, let's see. And then when we get back to the States, I'm going to research the water pump, the tensioner, and maybe some other pulleys, maybe order some other pulleys and put them on, even though the ones that I have aren't bad. If, the, if that one went bad, maybe others are on the brink, who knows? Also, I have, uh, the turbocharger on this thing has never worked. Every once in a while, it'll spool up just randomly. So I've got the I've got to figure out why the turbocharger is not working, and why why it does work, but it just doesn't really have a pattern to it. I can be pulling a hill and it's not it doesn't spool up. And the other thing is I have a sensor that I put the bus on a machine at an international in Fresno and it threw a code for this sensor and the guy said it was under the dashboard and for the life of me I can't figure out where that thing goes I get under there with flashlights I'm looking all around and I think it's just either a three or a four prong sensor and he I want to say he had it something to do with the barometric pressure or something I know that probably doesn't sound right but I got to find where that sensor goes maybe that ties in with the getting the uh, turbo to work right uh, um, how I ended up getting parts was I took the I got the belt at the parts store in town and the pulley they couldn't provide the pulley they tried with the race so I took it to Daniel the guy that's my motorcycle mechanic but he's also a mechanic for everything else too and they're gonna order it he's already got the supply lines in place they, they have it so they can measure it across I gave him the year make model everything about the vehicle so the pulley and bolt are on order, the belt I already have, and when I get back to the States, I'm gonna look at replacing some of these ancillaries, figure out where that sensor goes, and figure out why the doggone turbo's not coming on. Overall, I like this bus. It's difficult to drive. Uh, it's just gangly, it's just old and gangly. You know, uh, Keith helped me put shocks on the front, and that stabilized it quite a bit, and uh, picked up the cost of some new tires last year. Thank you, Keith, for that. Uh, badge put on a, a new piece of linkage that had play in it badge thank you for that that tightened the steering up some but it's just a heavy gangly it's 19,000 pounds uh, gangly bus to drive but once it's in place man there's really nothing better it's got north of 800 watts of solar on it it's got uh, a refrigerator and a freezer basically all the amenities that you could want in a vehicle I just really like it once it's parked. It's just uh, the driving part that's kind of a pain, especially on these narrow roads here. But you know, 
Life's not perfect. Everything's not perfect. You get something else, there'll be something else to do with that. All right, that's enough jabbering. Let me show you where we are. Beautiful spot. We're going to head into town, dump trash, figure out a way to get water. Water's kind of a challenge right now. And uh, I might try to get a haircut. See how I feel about that. There is the watchdog going full speed. There is the motorcycle getting ready to go into town to dump trash. There is our satellite dish. We've got, you can see in the distance, towers, but it seems like they only want to give us a limited amount of uh, data a day. It's like it'll be running really fast sometimes, and then it just shuts down where you can barely open a, your email. Here's the Sea of Cortez and the beginning of the Bay of Conception. At night, you can see a couple of lighthouses blinking. We're about three miles from the outskirts of town, about five miles from the center of town. I reckon we're gonna be here for about a month with the things we have on order. I've got some uh, products to review. I gotta get uh, some stuff out for Jackery. I really like Jackery, but I gotta deal with them where I mention them on an ongoing basis, which is cool. It helps me cover my costs and I really like their products. There is the inside. And you can see that shiny bottom, uh, I don't know what you want to call that. It's not really a pulley, but maybe it is. Right beside it, here, I'll point. Right there is what failed. And it's something that looks exactly like this, but it's a little bit bigger. So I get that on, get the belt on, and then get some other stuff going on this thing maintenance wise so at least I've put as many things in my favor as possible plus I know how to do it and I'm not trying to figure out pages and things online at the time it's all I got for now really appreciate you guys watching the channel really appreciate your input I feel like we're all in it together in a sense when I see your comments and stuff so thanks all a lot for that and uh, be looking for more of Carly's uploads uh, probably in the next 30 days or so they'll be trickling out and uh, I'll just uh, keep you posted on what's going on around here and uh, as far as the van build goes I've got uh, the van built slated for the same place in Parker Arizona uh, in November at this point I'm gonna work on I've got some people helping me thank you Liz uh, thank you Bill thank you everyone who's helping me uh, try to get that more organized I've got the website enigmaticnomadics.com I would encourage you to check that out uh, that's all Liz she built that and God bless her for it I really appreciate it but uh, van build again in November we're gonna try to keep making it better and better every year uh, Steve I really appreciate your uh, input on trying to uh, help me to run better events uh, we'll see you guys uh, soon on the next upload when I have more see you later